Okay, so today's painting was actually a series to go along with these two portraits. They're all for the same customer. Um, I just wanted to record this last one. Here they are. Okay, so starting out with just a sketch and then I started to block in some of the lighter colors. Painting black cats is really hard for me. This is actually my second attempt. Um, the first one I fully finished and painted, but I didn't like it, so I painted over it. So here I'm blocking in the darker colors, and I was using the reference of their specific cat for all of these um, shapes and shadows and everything. I decided to use some blue. Oh, and right here I moved the canvas because the angle I'm recording at, it was really hard to um, like see the canvas when I was painting. So that's why that happened. Just filling in more of the blocks of color. Um, I wanted to kind of stay away from grays, so I went with more blue values because the background was going to be light gray as requested by the customer. Still just blocking in colors. Now I'm kind of more blending the colors together. I have a lot of the base colors down, but I need to actually blend them. And then I decided to put the eyes on just to kind of get the painting to feel more like rendered and like put together as a picture. And then I'm adding in some of the smaller dark details here and I'm going to line the eyes with that same black. Usually I stay away from pure black in paintings, but in this instance I decided to go with it. I'm adding some fur details, very um, like vague fur details with the black with a small brush. Yeah, I had to move the canvas to paint the eyes on because again, at the um, angle I was recording, it was really hard to get in those small details. I'm gonna try and improve on that in the future, but for now that was fine. Adding in some more lighter values again and then going ahead and painting on the body of the cat. I had to pull it away again to get those bright yellow highlights in the eyes and the bottom. And now I'm painting on the gray background and I tested a couple colors as you saw there. I decided on this light gray and again I'm gonna pull the canvas back to finish that because I cannot get it close to the edges with having to reach over the table. Now I'm just adding in back some of the outline that I painted over when I added in the background. And also filling in some of the gaps that I hadn't painted before, like the white coloring on her chest. So next I did the whiskers, and again I had to pull it away because these are super fine details. They look kind of um, big in the video, but in real life it's a really thin line. And then I'm just finishing off some of the details. And that was the finished portrait. So if you guys enjoyed, and let me know if you like this kind of video. Um, here's the finished portrait, and then the set that it goes to. I've never done a voiceover before, so hopefully this wasn't too annoying, but I thought that I might kind of narrate the process that went along with this painting. So thank you guys for watching.